We all came over with a little bit of, oh, how is it going to be coming into an adult hospice? But actually they've accepted us with open arms and made us feel so very welcome. If St Giles hadn't have said that they could offer us some support, we wouldn't have been able to offer any inpatient services for children locally. I think when uh, Emma first gave her a call uh, and we looked at how we could make this happen, uh, it's just been a positive experience all the way through from a collaborative point of view, looking at how we could um, integrate both policies and procedures so we could still work as independent um, hospices with, under the same uh, roof um, was tantamount to the uh, dedication from uh, Emma and myself to try and the rest of the team to try and make it work positively for the patients and the children that were going to access uh, the services at the time. We've been able to do lots and lots of lovely activities. So these have ranged from sort of trips into the village, over into Tamworth, um, down to see the horses. We've been quite involved with lots of the um, activities that have gone in the village. So they've had lots of fates, lots of fairs, things that we've been able to get really involved with. We've had some great feedback of people in the local village saying it's been lovely to see the children. Uh, we've had some great feedback from our, the children's nurses as well as the adults' nurses that it's been really good to see that interaction of some of the adult patients, children's patients and the nurses. Just that synergy of that we're all here to back caring for everybody. So we are really excited to go back to the Walsall Hospice. Um, as lovely as it's been here, we have missed, missed our hospice um, and we are really thrilled to, to be going back. Um, but also a little bit sad to be leaving because we do feel like we've become part of the St Giles team as well. Um, we'd just like to say thank you really, it's been a wonderful experience. Um, we'll, we'll miss you all very much, thank you.